This is how to paint airsoft guns. I will be telling you what type of paint to use and how to paint the guns. When painting airsoft guns, you always want to cover the tip so that it's still orange because if you get caught with a gun that is an airsoft gun that does not have an orange tip, you can get fined or even sent to jail. Also, if you have any parts that you don't want to be painted, then you put painter's tape over them or any type of paint that is sticky and you just put it over it and then you spray paint the rest of the gun and when you're done, you take the paint off. There's a certain brand of paint that you always want to buy. It is Krylon. If you're painting a gun black, you want to use flat and then you want to pick your color black. Flat is always what you want to use for airsoft guns if you don't want them to be sticky. And this dries in 10 minutes so you can finish the guns fast. If you look behind the can, this is the pistol that I have done on one side and I have some tape over the front barrel so that I don't clog it and I'm going to be painting the other side. This is not actually airsoft, this is a toy pistol but it'll just the same. So, shake the can. Pop off the top. Oops. Okay, so you want to take off the top and with Krylon cans, there's a certain awesome thing. There's this little white thing on the front. If you turn it like that, it sprays more horizontally. I mean, sorry, more vertically, but if you turn it like that, oops, then it is more horizontally, which is what you want for airsoft guns. So, the basic technique for spraying is you're going to keep it far back, not way up close, but far back. And you're not just going to want to go burst, burst, burst on random spots. You're going to want to hold it and just keep spraying from far back. So, and you want to do coats. So, first coat. And then just wait a little bit. Wait a couple of seconds for that to dry. Here's a gun while we're waiting for the pistol to dry. Here's a gun that I've already painted the first side and this is what the paint will look like. It's nice and flat and dark. And this gun used to be bright orange, so you can see how it easily covered up the bright orange and made it look like an actual real gun. So it's a couple minutes later and the gun is about dry. Not completely dry, but that's enough just for a second coat. So you're going to go back again and just get the parts that in oops. Make sure you're actually aimed at it. Uh, and then you're just going to go to the part that need a little fresh up. And wait again. To spray paint the sides of the gun, you still want to be back far, but you want to be aiming at the sides of the can. So, not at the can, sorry, the gun. So, And then you don't want to put too much spray paint on the sides because then it will drip down and there will be drip marks on the gun. To paint larger guns, you want to have your can nice and shook and you're going to want to hold it nice and far back like you've done before and just... And then wait for that to dry a little bit. Maybe put some on the barrel if you like it and wait a little bit and then go back up staying nice and far back 